Yeah, hi there. These comments are for S. I'm just using your initials for privacy purposes. And I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the online course, The Seven Step System to Pass the 12th IBT. And you have asked me a question that uh, I have gotten quite a bit. And I'm going to answer your question based on uh, I teach about 2,000 online students every year, and I've been teaching TOEFL online now since about 2009. And uh, not all my students, but some of my students, they will tell me what their TOEFL score is before they start my course, and then after they finish my course, they let me know how they did. And um, not everyone succeeds, unfortunately, but I can give you a pretty good idea of what type of improvements you can expect but there's assumptions here there's a lot of assumptions it's assuming that the students are practicing learning vocabulary they're posting speaking and writing practice tests on a regular basis right so here's here's the assumption there's kind of there's kind of three main things that you have to assume if the the student wants to make improvements and I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak from my point of view from the people who use my online TOEFL course Okay, number one, every day a student who wants to improve his or her score, they need to read for about 45 to 60 minutes every day. Uh, they need to read uh, longer books, magazines, and newspapers. Now, if they do these three things, beginning with the reading, you can expect approximately uh, 5 to 10 points for each month that the student studies. That's actually pretty realistic, and that and I have seen that improvement from thousands of students who have used my online TOEFL course. I wish I could give you faster results, but I'm, I'm not going to promise uh, something that doesn't happen. So you're looking at about 5 to 10 points for each month. So to answer your question, to go from 60 to 70, you're probably looking at anywhere from 30 to 60 days. If the student does these th three things, number one, they need to be studying, uh, reading extensively about 45 minutes every day. Uh, they can read, like I said, magazines, newspapers, and books. Now, the important thing is the student is getting used to the language, getting used to reading, vocabulary, grammar, all of that. Number two, the student also needs to practice about 45 to 60 minutes every day with listening materials. The student can watch TV programs, especially with an emphasis on science, news, history, and documentary programs. That's going to give the student some fairly high-level vocabulary, and it will help the student get used to listening. Now, as the student is practicing these reading and listening materials, uh, this person needs to focus a lot on note-taking. Uh, he or she should focus on the main and the most important supporting points of the reading and listening passages. Uh, he or she needs to get these notes down on paper. This is very important. A good note taker will do very, very well on the TOEFL IBT. It is a fact. There's no, no if, ands, or, or buts about it. The person has to be a good note taker. Now, using the notes, the student can orally summarize the reading and listening passages and using the notes the student can write a summary of those list reading and listening passages now guess what not only is the student practicing reading and listening but the student is also practicing the integrated speaking and integrated writing portions of the exam so if a student does these things every day this is an hour and a half right here an hour and a half of reading and listening, note taking, and then writing and speaking about that information. This is very, very important. Now, the last suggestion is, as a great supplement to your program, this is really going to help your program, I promise you. The student can use my online TOEFL course about two hours every day. And I recommend the 60-day TOEFL study guide for somebody who wants to improve from, say, 60 to 70 or from 70 to 80. 
So again, I will include the study guide into the link or into the email so you can take a look at it. So if the student goes through these three things, you have you have the reading and the listening, and that's an hour and a half a day. You have a couple of hours every day for 60 days at my online TOEFL course. Now you're looking at, what, three and a half hours every day of study. Uh, this person, if this person is motivated and does exactly these three things and studies every day for about three and a half hours, the person should make or reach the goal of 60 to 70 uh, in about two months, hopefully less than two months. All right, so those are my suggestions for you. Thank you for your questions. And uh, all the best to your students' high-scoring TOEFL success.